So hey YouTube, uh, my name's Sub. I'm back to play through OK some more. It's probably going to be episode 6. In the last episode, I think we went over here and we did some stuff. And off camera, I went back to this planet and I did the bonus objectives. What I did was I won the... Destroy the 8 extractors by a minute 30. I did that. And we won by 6 minutes. We did that one. We didn't do this one. But whatever, it still gave me, you know, it took me two levels to get all three objectives, and I'm fine with that. I also went back and did the tutorial on Brutal. I played it for about an hour, and I built like 500 glaive robots, and I marched over the land, and I saw a bunch of uh, units I've never seen before that were kind of slightly, not off screen, but they just weren't in the main objective area they were kind of in the corner of the map um, it was interesting I'm anyway I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do this one planet Yeta uh, the two forces here are both too entrenched for automated raids to dislodge the other one of them recognized my IFF luckily enough so I should be able to break this stalemate all I need is to find a way to break some tough defenses. Okay. I wonder how much initiative those AIs have been given. Can it decide to make tactical alliances on its own? Or did it somehow know my IFF? I don't know. I'd take it off of Brutal. Put it back on normal. Okay. The bonus objectives are destroy all enemy desolator turrets. Build two Cerberuses. I want one. And win by 12 minutes. I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm not even going to bother with that one. Uh, but Cerberus is... Sounds neat. You can easily change building placement elevation by selecting the building and then holding left click for a few seconds to show terraforming UI and adjust height. Press left click again to confirm. Press B and then C or V. That's neat. Huh. I might have to try that in a minute. I can finish the Cerberus artillery piece and link it to my allies' power plants. Then this cannon will break the enemy's defensive line and allow us to destroy their base once for all. The Cerberus is a long-range artillery structure capable of outranging and destroying the enemy's defense as well as suppressing the movement of their mobile units. Toggle it into high trajectory mode to fire over hills. That sounds neat. In order to fire, your Cerberus needs to be connected to a power grid with at least 50 energy. Although it does not consume this energy, use energy pylons to extend the grid from your allies' fusions. The economy view displays your power grid as colored circles. That's a little confusing. Connecting the metal extractors to your energy production structures can give you more metal income through overdrive. Check the online manual for I'm not reading that. Caretakers, there we go. I want one of those. I've seen them before. Caretakers are stationary constructors with large build range and high build power for their cost. They are limited by their inability to initiate construction, but they are the most cost efficient way to get more production out of a factory. Okay, it's a builder assistant turret. That sounds kind of cool. And is this music too loud? Destroy the enemy shield bot factory and rover assembly. Protect your commander. Pause game. Music was a little loud. Let's see. Here's my builder. Okay. I'm... Am I green? Okay. I have nothing. I think I share my allies' buildings, though. So that's cool. Show. I, I for real, I have not a thing. Alrighty then, well we're going to start with some of these. and I can build up? It said if I pushed it and held it down, I could activate some kind of terraforming mode. I don't know if that's going to do anything. And it didn't. Whatever. Okay, well, let's just start with this. 
Seeing as how I have all the money in the world because of my allies are rich, I'm just going to build some turrets to start with. So, we're basically, pretty much, it's just a line. Us and them. And we're fairly identical, I guess. They're a little different. And yeah, big gun turret. Two minutes. And there's a stealth guy. That's cool. We will, uh... After this gets done, we're going to do some stuff. Oh, I just noticed I have a factory icon above my head. That is that whole, you get a free factory just by showing up kind of thing. Um, probably going to build a cloak bot factory in a minute. And I can also build plates so I can steal my allies. I might just, I might just do that because that's the place to put them is down there. I think I will in just a sec after I, um, you know, built the turrets just because. Okay, so we got the turrets finished, and I found out that the caretaker is actually under the economy buildings. It's not even a unit. It's a building, so it is a turret, kind of. And there's the enemy energy pylon, which I don't exactly know how to use that right now. we will figure it out. Oh, cool. I can build the um, Cerberus now. Of course, that one, we just got it online, I think. Ew, it's not connected. Uh, just do that. Maybe that'll do it. I mean, I think that but the circles all overlapped, so that should have done it. And the other guy's helping. That's good. You could just go and uh, do, do, do. I'm gonna do uh, there. Gonna build one of those. Okay, that's on. Uh, the gun's online. Is this in wob mode? Yeah, shoot it high. There we go. High trajectory. And yeah, you just shoot forever. Shoot until the enemies are all dead. Okay. And... Oop, wrong, 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 hold on. Do a little bit of uh, that. I don't know if that's a great idea, but we're going to do it. It's an idea anyway. Because, I mean, we got a lot of money. So I'm going to spend it on a uh, absolute mountain of gun turrets and stuff. There we go. Well, at least we got the caretakers have built themselves. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do this better. Okay, get out of the way. Okay. Just start it there it started now it's actually there now the commander doesn't have to be there okay I know we're probably wasting all the money in the world but it happens there now all builders go away uh, do, do, do. Can I do this in an area? Yes, I can. Just get the trees. And you're going to be six. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm single handedly spending all the money. But I think it's going to be alright. Oh, well, let me guess. None of them are in range. Well, none of them are in range. That was a big waste of time. Okay, I can't make them stop for some reason. What even good is force fire? Please stop building that. Hmm. 
Okay, so this is the first try I've ever done of this level, and uh, things are going to go great, and it's not stupid at all. <laughs> we're just going to build a... F we're going to do it a little different than what I just did. Can you please get out of the way? I'm doing stuff. I'm trying to build a... Trying to build a bout factory. Thank you. Okay, so build two Cerberuses. Well, I've got one coming. Put another one right there. And uh, then do that. I think this is going to work out. Hold on. Nope, wrong button. What I want to do is I want two caretakers. I want to just sit here and build these things. Well, I go and fight a war with these things. Because I think that might work better than what I just did. <clears throat> we'll see. Dang, it does be taking a while to make these, though. There we go. And we will build an energy pylon. So we can actually shoot the things. And uh, maybe this will work. And put them both on lobbing mode, because I think that probably works better. At least I kind of like it better. Da 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 reverse. Mm -hmm. There we go. Alright, let's try this a second time now. It's still kind of weird how Metal Extractor works. The Metal Extractor in this menu is... I can't place it right, but this one works fine. It's kind of weird. But I guess it works. There we go. Do that. And I think I'm going to put some solar collectors right next to it and see if I can figure out how overdrive works. Maybe like that. Hmm. So let's see how the solar works. Get out of the way. Is that overdrived? I think so. Well, if that's overdrived, then I want it to be more overdrived. So build another one. Because in Supreme Commander, you would basically build one extractor and then you would build a cross out of power generators, like little ones. And it would, uh, yeah, 50%. So there we go. We got even more. Eh, cram one in there. Maybe we'll get um, double. Because we need it. Trying to build these things. Which they're coming along. And now we got these guys too. Get over there and secure that side. Okay, so 61. Well, it doesn't go quite so hard eh, that's, that's good enough like it does oh 71 that guy that's good enough 71 um two more of them be secure i don't want to have to take over this point more than one time there we go good got the big cannon thing online Ooh, that did pretty good. And we'll have two. That will be the bonus objective. And we'll just use them. And we'll probably just advance. Go and find out what that is. Alright. That's something. I don't know what it was. But dang, it was something. Hmm. Shoot, what could we do to take that out? 
I don't know. Because that's pretty bad. It's a that's a desolator. Hmm. That's working. The big cannon thing. She's not quite in range. Well, we could sh should be able to attack that. Where's my builder man? There he is. Yeah, we can sneak around the mountain though, because he we're not in range of him now behind the mountain. March them over. March them over. Pew 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 pew. pew. There we go. Now you just park it right there. We'll pull up right behind you. And we'll take this stuff over. And they're all being shot to death because of course they are. But, well anyway, we're going. And we built two Cerberus. This is good. I don't know if we're going to win by 12. We'll win whatever we win. Hmm actually send them guys up to defend that side because uh, yeah they look like they need it um, slap them down right quick hurry up we need more money money there we go we might even get into positive money man what even is that Enemies bots are big. Hmm. I mean, I hate to have to build more of these things just because they're actually really expensive. <clears throat> anyway. Build some economy. I think we did blow up that turret, but we really can't push through there. Not right this second. And go do this. Defend the base of that hill. Oh no. Tanks. Laser it. Laser it. Yeah, there we go. That worked out. Why are you don't 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 advance up that hill? Hmm. Hmm. But well, there's one of their bases. It's not very defended, to be honest. So let's um, let's pull what we can over here and maybe sneak around and hit their base while they're not looking. Oh, build use more constructors to spend more. Oh, we have an excess of metal. I thought we had. I thought we had a deficit. Um, okay then. Well, let me see what I, what we can do probably need a base up here cuz you know it'll be closer can I build a plate no I have to build a factory factory I mean I'm okay with that put it right there in the corner <laughs> dang bunch of wars happening over here Pause that for a sec, but we five conjurers. I honestly don't even probably need five, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Probably going to be retarded, but I think we're going to do it anyway. There we go. You are number six. Get some builders. Um, yeah, the problem with these things is they don't have quite enough range. Yeah, I mean, they have enough to defend this little valley pretty good. Oops, misclicked. Do that. 
do that. Thank you. Some defenses. Okay. Scoot over a little. Yeah. Okay. Why are you going? Why are you going behind the base? Whatever. Um. Probing raid. Dun, 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 dun. Go see what they can. Uh, go see what they have. They have a lot. They have. They have a lot. Like yeah, they they have a lot. They're they're about to they're about to turn up. Hurry. <laughs> like yeah, they're they're coming. <laughs> Hurry up and build the defenses. <laughs> build defenses now. <gasps> oh dear. You just go ahead and push the whole way to the factory if you can make it. Because they're running away, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't, I don't think that brigade's going to make it. Well, we pushed a little bit. There we go. That's, that's a good line. Oop, wrong button. There we go. There we go. Push up that line a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're out of money again. Of course we are. Don't know why. Not building. Oh, it's these guys slapping it up so quick. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, we need the lasers on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stuff's. Whoa, that's a lot of guys. In direct fire skirmishers. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're doing damage. They can't stand up to the waves. Oh, we lost the fighters' objective. But they can't stand up to the wave of, after wave of our guys. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, we're already kind of low on money already. Yeah, just do this. Make some robots. There we go. But yep, we're pushing pretty good over here. I think we'll take over this, we'll cut off to here, and then we'll have a pretty good amount of land. And we'll have enough of these guys to maybe hold on to some stuff. And my commander's just throwing them off the assembly line. Go, 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 go. Yeah, that's working. And I, I don't know about cost effective, but whoa, look at that. That's cool. Look at that thing. Run it down. Run it down, y'all. Shoot it in the ankles. Shoot its ankles. It's dead. Yeah, blow up that. That might be cool. That might blow up really cool. It did. And there's their mask, their, uh, what, what am I trying to say? Their boss robot guy? Their massive robot? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, there he is. Go run him down. We'll assassinate him by throwing enough guys at it. Pew, 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 pew. Get it right up on his ankles and shoot him in the toes. Kick him in the chins. Bam. He's dead. Good job assassinating that guy. Charge, just keep charging. Dun 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 I mean, you don't even have to win, just annoy him. 
shoot their vulnerable stuff. Yeehaw! He's dodging. Look at him dodge. Okay, he died. So then the next 40. You know what? You know what? Forget, forget it. Just there. There. Overrun them like that. You know, there's another one. <laughs> and there's another one. <laughs> okay, so that's going good. Um, hmm. Bunch of guys over here. I don't know what that is. That's an energy pond. We should be fine. Vance over there. Yeah, but there's enough guys. We can uh, take the bullets to the face and then just march them over. There we go. We're getting them. Okay, do pause right there. Because this is going to be a little annoying, I'm sure. No, no, there we go. Yeah, I don't want to march too far forward and we can't secure the land. Yeah, we got it. Got that area. Keep pestering them. Robots, 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 robots. See, that's working pretty good. Hmm, the guns are almost built. Our allies are coming in to take all the money. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, let us let us build up right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's done. Move up some. We don't really have any like I can't build I mean I guess I could, it's just it would cost a jillion dollars. I don't know what good it would do. 2500 I mean we could I don't know this might be stupid but we could we have the building power it's gonna take the entire base like we're gonna bankrupt this in, for like a second I mean I don't know, whatever um hold up Odo what's going on I'll keep doing that. You build the energy. Can we build the energy? How do we even do that? I think I know how this works. We have to do that and that and that. And that's probably how that works. No. Oh. Shoot. I wanted to start on it now. Go start on that. Right now. Thank you. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, spend a jillion dollars on that for no good reason. Um, honestly, probably about one. Just start advancing. Um, push up to there if you can even survive. Oh, we have one already. Okay, <laughs> well that worked. I mean, we didn't win by twelve, but I don't know. I don't care that much. But a subjective would have been nice. Okay, yep, we did the two bonus objectives. Did the. Build the turrets and blow up the things. We unlocked the caretaker. I don't like it as much as I thought I would. Um, then that, we do need that. That's just infrastructure and this. What's this? High density plating. Provides 1600 health, but reduces speed by 3. Requires a blade of armor plates and at least a level 3 module slot. Eh, I don't know if I need that. So what's the codex say? The Celestial Arm was renowned for its lush, varied, and fantastically resilient biospheres. Even to this day, they remain healthy after untold centuries of neglect. A fitting testament to the skills of the last great empire to rule this quadrant in the ancient days. 
the celestial dominion. These unmatched master terraformers tended to their worlds for thousands of years. It is said that they even planned for the death of their sons, and that those vile spheres would somehow survive the stars themselves. I don't know how that works. While its reputation was familiar, I had never been in this quadrant before. How did I end up way out here in the boondocks? I don't know. So I actually know where I am now. That's cool. And yeah, I just, I don't know how to do that one. I mean, if I ignore this entirely, ignore that entirely, and just push those factories, I could probably maybe just run in and assassinate them. And if I play the game, like if I replay the level like two or three times to find out where the factories are, yeah, I could probably do that. I'm not going to do it right now. Actually, that's that's probably, well, let me, let me look at this. Then that's probably going to be it. So I've got machine gun, armor, and auto repair. I like the auto repair. And I'm not sure about this. It increases your build power. I kind of like build power. And I don't really need armor that good. Don't really need damage boost. Speed would be nice, but I'm kind of a builder, so I'm going to just change that. I'm keeping auto repair, because I kind of like that. And I think I got a new gun. A missile launcher. Lightweight seeker missile with good range. I don't know if that's better. I'm going to try it. Because I kind of like the machine gun, but I'll try the missile and we'll see. So I'm basically a builder with a self repairing and a missile launcher. So we'll try that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it. I've been through playing Zero K. That was episode 6. I'm pretty sleepy. Bye.